How's it everyone? Welcome to another edition of the Court Checklist right here on Open Court. So now that the holidays are upon us, I know you guys are probably thinking of giving gifts. Maybe those gifts can be tennis products like strings. Unfortunately, these days, the cost of playing tennis is getting more and more expensive with the inflation rate and the supply chain issues in the world. But that doesn't mean that some value can't still be had. And so today's court checklist, I'd like to introduce my personal top five favorite polyester tennis strings under $10. So first off, I'd like to give a quick honorable mention to a particular string. This string is the Solinko Revolution. Unfortunately, I can't put this in the list because it is $10.99, which is just above the threshold. But $10.99 is still a great value. So if you guys are curious to try it, it holds tension very well. It gets really good spin. I think it's one of Solinko's best polyesters. So if you guys are curious, give Solinko Revolution a try. At $10.99, it's still a great bargain. So now let's get into my top five. At number five, best polyester under $10 is Signum Pro Poly Plasma. I'm sure some of you may have heard of Signum Pro, uh, specifically the Poly Plasma. It does one thing very, very well, which is it maintains tension. It comes in at $8 and it is a great value for money because of that tension maintenance. It's a traditional round, smooth poly. So just to be clear, it doesn't do anything spectacularly aside from maintaining the tension. The spin is average, the power is average, the response is, um, it's not dead. It's actually a little bit more on the deader side, but it's not completely dead. But really the selling point of the Signum Pro Poly Plasma is its tension maintenance. I know that's a very important thing for these bargain hunters because they want something cheap, but they want something that will be durable and last long time, maintain its tension. But unfortunately, it doesn't really do anything else particularly well besides tension. So that's why it's number five on this list. Number four, coming in at only $5 a set. This is the cheapest string on my top five. Bear in mind that these prices can vary depending on where you live or which store or online retailer you get it from. But this string is Polystar Turbo. Polystar, I believe, is ma manufactured in Germany. It's a relatively little known brand. People who have been playing tennis for a long time have probably heard of Polystar. I like the Turbo the best because it has a very, very rigid shape and it bites the ball extremely well. Out of the top five on this list, this is probably my personal number two in terms of the spin production, but it's very, very rigid and very rough. So it doesn't really have a smooth coating, which results in less snapback. So it actually doesn't maintain that spin level quite that long, but at only $5 a set, you can probably restring it every couple weeks to a month, maintain that fresh uh, spin potential. It's also very, very difficult to string. It's a pain in the butt to weave the crosses because it's so rigid it's hard to pull it through. So if you don't string your own rackets and you're gonna give it to a stringer to string, make sure you give them a cookie or something because this thing is really pain in the butt to string. But the Polystar Turbo provides a lot of good spin. It's also very soft, so it provides a lot of power. And at only $5, it's a great bargain, so give Polystar Turbo a try. Now number three on my list of polys under $10 is Ytex Square X. Now I just released my review of the Ytex Pro Tour. That was another string that was in contention, although I wanted to only keep it one string per brand. I do love all of Ytex's strings because they all maintain tension well, they're relatively arm friendly, and they have that great playability over the course of the life of the string. The Square X, again, it doesn't do anything particularly super good except for the spin, and at only $7.99 a set, it's a great bargain for money. This is the budget version of the flagship Quadro Twist, but if you don't mind spending that 15 bucks, Quadro Twist is definitely better, but the Square X will be a better bargain for money because it's a little bit, it's almost half the price. The Pro Tour is also a good choice. Honestly, I personally like the Pro Tour better than the number five string on this list, the Signum Pro Poly Plasma, but I wanted to keep it one string per brand. The Square X is a very underrated and under uh, overlooked string. So if you have a chance to try Square X, give it a try. Go to ytexstrings.com. Use my discount code KOKAMURA15 at checkout to get 15% off your order to try any of these awesome Ytex strings. 
Now number two on this list of best polys under $10 is Solinko Outlast. I used this string for the first time earlier this year. I did a review on it, so check it out. It's on my channel. The Solinko Outlast is a string that really surprised me. It comes in at $9.50 a set. It's just a smooth, traditional round poly, but I was surprised at just how much spin this string got. It's one of the most uh, spin-friendly strings uh, round polys that I've ever personally tried. When I was stringing it up, it felt very, very smooth and slick, kind of like a Yonex Poly Tour Fire, which is also another red round poly and it's very slick. It snaps back very well. It has that waxy, oily coating kind of, so it maintains that spring production very long. This string also has great tension maintenance and it's firm but comfortable. It's a little bit stiffer than the other strings on this list, the Pro Poly Plasma, Polystar Turbo and the Square X, but that doesn't mean it's really, really stiff. It's definitely softer than Confidential, Tourbite and Hyper-G, but it's still firm enough that you get a nice, decent response. And I like that firm response because I want to feel connected to the ball. The Solenco Outlast gives me that confidence. It also maintains its tension well. And at under $10, you guys got to try out the Solenco Outlast. And lastly, number one, my current favorite polyester string under $10. I was very surprised at this because I've heard of this string, but I've never actually used it until earlier this summer. My friend gave me a reel, and ever since then, I've been stringing it up for friends. I've been stringing it for myself whenever I want to test rackets, and I was very, very pleasantly surprised with the overall playability of this string. What is that string? MSV Focus Hex. I've been getting a lot of people telling me to give MSV Focus Hex a try and I finally did. A friend of mine gave me a set and this string is currently my favorite poly under $10. Right now it comes in about $8.90 a set. It's a, a square shaped, I believe it's square shaped, um, it has edges so it grips the ball very very well. It provides incredible amounts of spin. The first time I tried this was in my Prince Phantom 100X 1820. It's a tight 1820. So I wasn't expecting to get as much spin, but I was very pleasantly surprised at how much my kick serves were kicking up. And the most uh, pleasant surprise with this string for me personally was its tension maintenance. I'm pretty hard on my strings because I like to play aggressive. I like to go full throttle, especially on those returns. I like to swing almost 100% as much as possible on my ground strokes. This string maintained its tension very well for a string under $10. It is slightly on the softer side, but it's still fairly stiff. There is also an MSV Focus Hex Soft. If this string is a little bit too stiff for you, I might try that in the future. But the MSV Focus Hex lies in that perfect Goldilocks area in terms of the stiffness. I like it just stiff enough where I feel connected to the ball and I feel that response, but I don't want it too stiff where I can't hit touch shots, drop shots, uh, angle volleys, things like that. The MSB Focus Hex gets great spin, even on the serves, even on the slices, and it maintains tension very well. I'm planning to do a full review on the MSV Focus Hex very soon. I'm using it in my Speed Pro 1820, and I can say it still gets a lot of spin. So look forward to that review. But the MSV Focus Hex is currently my favorite polyester under $10. So that concludes my list. I know I probably missed a few because there are a lot of good strings under $10. Let me know your guys' favorite under $10 or even under $12. That will expand the uh, list of strings a lot. $12 is still a good budget in this day and age of tennis. So if you guys get a chance and you're looking for a good bargain, give some of these strings a try and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching this court checklist right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.